All right, so what's going on, guys? So today we're doing an $850 gaming PC. Uh, this build in particular is going to be a mini ITX. I'm fixing to go over every part so you know how much it is, what it is, and yeah, everything will be in the link below or in the description. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So for our motherboard, we're using the Aorus B450i. This motherboard, in the ITX version, I've never used. ATX version I have, so hopefully it's good as the ATX version. I don't see why it wouldn't be, if it's, if, why it wouldn't be as good, but hopefully it is, and it's only $120. H210 for the case by NZXT. It's a mini ITX case, just like I said. And yeah, oh, man, there's my cat. That one's Bella, or Missy. This one's Bella. But yeah, H210 for our case. For our CPU, Ryzen 5 3600. Not the X, just 3600. Inland Pro, or Inland Premium, sorry. 512 gigabyte. That's what we're using for the M.2. <sighs> for our RAM, G-Skills Ripjaw, or Ripjaws. It is, I think it's DDR4, 16 gigabyte, 3200 megahertz. That's what we're using. Really low profile. It's going to look good in any case you throw it into. For the GPU, we're using the Asus 1660 Super. Oh uh, yeah, this card is really beefy, so like I'm really excited about using it, but yeah. And then for our power supply, is the 550 watt power spec, 80 plus bronze. This thing is only $55. I've been using this thing in all my builds, have not had a problem with it. So hopefully, it's as good. I mean, it's $55, man, it's not ketchup and mustard. Like, I feel, I feel like you can't get much better than this, but yeah. So, we're fixing to get into the build. Uh... Yeah, to the cats. Hopefully, they're not a big problem when I build this. But yeah, I'm. It's gonna kind of be like a build guide. Not really. We're just gonna be snapping through it. So I mean, if you want to follow this guide exactly, I'm gonna let you know how to build it. <laughs> like, so you're good. Just keep going back to this video, and you'll figure it out. All right. So get right into it.
now that you have everything plugged up and everything inside and you put the back panel back on, did a little bit of cable management, whatever you want that to be, I think I did pretty good. Really wanted to make sure you couldn't see nothing in here because this is a really big hole from the case. But yeah, this G like I was saying, bro, this GPU is so thick. It's clearing it, but barely. <laughs> it's really close, but I, th I think it makes it look sick in here. I don't know, it's just a really beefy uh, graphics card. So, I might have said CPU. I think I just called this a CPU. I'm sorry, I meant GPU. Anyways, so now they have everything. Go ahead and flip this switch, that little switch back here. Flip it on, and then there you go. Now let's see if it turns on. Just hold alt, delete, spam delete. And hopefully it should turn on to the thing. I guess we'll just wait. There we go. All right, now you're in the BIOS. So now that we have everything up and running, we're gonna do little benchmarks just to see what the score is. I'll show you the settings exactly what it is after. But right now, I'm just gonna let it do its course and i see you when it's done. Okay, so it just got finished. As you can see, the score, 3085. Average FPS 122, and there's the specs once again, Ryzen 5 3600, 1660 Super, um, the quality is ultra, 1920 by 1080p, for $850, man, this computer, I, I've been using it for a couple days, there's not one game where I've not, I've been like, wow, I'm missing out on some on something, like this, this computer, I absolutely love it. Okay, so if you did enjoy this video, shout out my cat Bella. Okay, not not like not okay. Anyways, if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and leave a comment down in the description. Go ahead and leave me a like, Bella. Do not touch the fans; you will hurt yourself. And yeah, guys, I see you in the next video.